In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a motorbike cake topper. I made this using Saraceno modeling paste and I would recommend if you are making this to make it using some form of modeling paste because it's really, really strong. I'll link everything you need to make this cake topper in the description below. So what you're going to do, if you know what motorbike you're going to create, this was the particular one that I was asked to make. I printed out a photograph of the motorbike and I printed out the exact size that I wanted to make it. So as you can see, I used it as a template. I rolled out my modeling paste quite thick and we're going to make this main body of the motorbike first. And we're going to set it aside while we make the wheels. I've measured a round cookie cutter up against my picture and it's roughly the same size and I'm using some cling film over my modelling paste because it keeps it nice and round when you do it this way you can see there that it hasn't went completely flat which kind of makes it look more like a realistic wheel. Now I'm using another circle topper, a circle cutter which is slightly smaller and that's just going to be marked the inside for me. The inside of these wheels were a nice bright blue colour so I've rolled out some white modelling paste and I'm using some edible dust here to give like a really nice vibrant blue colour. I'm using a white edible marker to create the, I don't know what these are called, spokes in the inside of the wheel. <laughs> now we're going to use that same circle cutter that we used to create the indentation to cut out two circles. And then we're going to go in with a smaller circle cutter. So this is going to give us the perfect circle for the inside of these wheels. So I've used an even smaller circle cutter now for the inside of the wheels. And I'm using some silver edible dust here. And we're just going to put that on the center. And you can use a cocktail stick to go ahead and make some details on these circles. So now we're going to work on the body of the motorbike and we're going to do this by just adding in different sections. So by this stage, it's good to look at your photograph and see what way your bike is. And this can make such a difference. So as you can see, I'm just adding in different pieces of modeling paste on top. I'm layering it on top and then I'm putting little indentations with my knife. I've linked all the tools and materials that I'm using to make this in the description for you. Just keep adding and layering away until you're happy with your final result. So I'm happy with how that looks now and I'm going to go in and add in some silver details. Again, just looking at the photo and seeing the details of the bike and trying to emulate that with the pieces that I'm adding on. So at this stage, just have a look at the body of your bike and see if there's anything else you want to add on. So at this stage, I realized that I needed to add on a little bit at the front and a headlight. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a little bit before I decorate the other side of it. And now I'm going to do some more work on the wheels. So as you can see, the wheels don't look particularly realistic. So don't worry, we're going to sort that out now. So as you can see, I've used that same circle cutter on a black piece of modeling paste. And I'm placing it over the top of the wheel that we've made. And this is just going to give some realistic dimension to your wheel. If you look at a realistic wheel, a realistic wheel, <laughs> you're never going to have it completely flat. Um, so this will just help it stand out a little bit. I'm going to use a small square cutter to create some indentations on the outside of the wheel. And when you compare the two wheels after whenever you've done that it makes such a difference so if anything I wouldn't skip that step at this stage I realized my wheel was a wee bit fat so I'm trimming it down and now we're going to just piece the things together the body and the wheels together and just have a wee play around and see what way we want it positioned so I'm using a bit a tiny bit of black modeling paste and I'm going to wet it quite well it's just going to act as a glue and I'm using this wire and we're just going to insert the wire to connect the whole part together. Now I want one of the wheels to be sort of positioned towards me to make it look a bit more realistic. This is actually to be doing a wheelie on top of the cake which I was really worried about but it worked out okay in the end. Um, so I've tilted that wire towards me a little bit as you can see and I'm adding in that back wheel. I'm going to leave it overnight to dry and this is it the next month. No, this isn't it the next morning. This is it the next morning. <laughs> this is it the next morning and you can see it's dried out really, really well. 
this is the stage then where you would want to decorate the back of your bike and I made a little biker to go on top of it as well. I'll link the tutorial for the biker below. Adding on some final details such as handlebars and wing mirrors. It's a good idea if you are making a biker to do this part after because then these parts make it really stand out. Whereas if I'd have done this before the biker, he might have covered up these bits and pieces. So I've added on a few extra details. And here he is, ready to go on top of his motorbike tire cake. I'll link that tutorial for the tire cake below. Hope this helps.